Lena was a little unhappy when her husband, Mark, told her that his old college friend, Alex, would come to stay at their apartment for two weeks. The winter had been very busy for Lena and Mark. They went to many parties and took trips to the city. Lena wanted some quiet time with Mark, watching TV or planning a vacation. But now Alex was coming. Mark always said good things about Alex. He was a journalist who liked staying out of the spotlight. Despite never meeting him, Lena had sketched an image in her mind. Tall, skinny, and wear glasses, with a serious face and hands in his pockets of some or other vintage coat. She imagined he would be a little too sarcastic. Frankly, she wasn't thrilled. When Alex finally showed up, he didn't quite match her expectations. Sure, he was lean, but he was not very tall and did not have glasses. He was calm and quiet, not trying to impress anyone. His hands were more likely to be found handling his camera than lounging in his pockets. Lena was surprised that she started to like Alex very quickly. She did not know why. Alex was not full of energy or charm like Mark always said. Instead, he was happy to stay in the background. He watched quietly while Mark talked and laughed with excitement in their busy apartment. Alex was always polite, but he did not try to be charming or impress anyone. When he was comfortable in their home, he liked to sit on the balcony. He held a cup of fresh coffee and looked at the big city views. He said that this was the true way to enjoy life. He made friends with their shy cat very easily, which surprised Lena. But he did not seem interested when Lena talked about going out to see the city or taking photos around the busy streets. Lena found Alex's calm and simple way of living interesting but also confusing. After trying for days to understand him and not getting anywhere, she felt frustrated. Lena decided to let Alex and Mark spend time together without her. She focused on her work and sometimes went out with her friends at night. Lena saw that Alex did not seem to mind when she was not around. This made her want to talk to him more and spend time with him. She started joining him on his slow walks around the neighborhood, trying to understand him better and see who he really was. When is your friend leaving? Lena asked Mark one evening as they stood in their big, open kitchen making dinner together. He is starting to make me tired. Not for another week, Mark said looking confused as he cut vegetables. I don't understand. He has been very easy to have around. Yes, but that's the problem. I wish he wanted something more. If he needed help or had choices, I would have something to do or plan for, Lena said with a sigh. She wished Alex was a little more interesting or asked for more attention. Mark stopped cutting vegetables and looked at Lena. He put his hands on her face gently. Cooking and talking together like this was their special time, and it always felt warm and close. You always managed to surprise me, he said with a soft chuckle, looking into her eyes, a mix of amusement and love in his gaze. I can never predict how you're going to react to anything. Mark gave Lena a light kiss on her forehead and then went back to the kitchen counter to keep working on the dinner. You are seeing Alex's quiet way as a problem and making a big deal out of it, but he wouldn't want that, Mark said. A big deal? Really, Mark? 
Are you even listening to yourself? I thought you said he was supposed to be a very smart and interesting person. Lena said, unable to hide that she was annoyed. He is smart, but he is very tired from work. That's why he is staying here, to rest and relax, Mark said, trying to make things calmer. You also said he was a great thinker and interesting to talk to. I thought he would be more fun to talk with, Lena said. I was hoping for more interesting conversations. Anyway, I'm going downtown tomorrow to look at some new studio apartments. I might stay at my sister's place after. Just text me when Alex leaves, Lena said, feeling sure about her decision. That night, Lena was alone on the balcony. She was wrapped in a warm blanket, looking at the lights of the city. The air was cool, and the sounds of the city were far away, like a quiet background noise. Lena felt restless, with her thoughts mixed between frustration and a strong need to escape for a while. She didn't understand why she felt this way, but she knew she needed to change, even if it was just for one day. Lena sat alone on the rooftop garden of their building, the quiet night made her feel calm, and the soft city lights gave everything a peaceful, quiet look. Lena heard footsteps on the gravel path and turned to see a small red light moving toward her. It was Alex, holding a cigar and enjoying it. Mark never did that. Lena wanted to stay hidden in the dark but her light summer dress was too bright under the rooftop lights, showing that she was there. Without waiting, Alex sat down next to Lena on the bench. He gave her a light shawl that Mark had asked him to bring. Mark thought you might need this, he said with a soft smile as he handed it to her. Lena said thank you quietly and placed the shawl on her lap feeling a strange feeling of both comfort and being in the way. Alex talked about how cool the night air was, and then said a quote, his voice blending with the quiet night. Lena didn't answer him. She felt that the words Alex said were not really meant for her. Usually Alex was quiet, but tonight, under the stars on the rooftop, he seemed to open up. He spoke softly about his college days with Mark. They had dreams together back then, but now their lives were very different. Lena wasn't just listening to his words, but also to the sound of his voice. There was something about it that made the moment feel special. She felt a strong wish to be closer to him, to touch him, even though she didn't know why. She thought about leaning in, whispering something, just to feel a stronger connection. But the strong feeling made her stop. She took a step back, feeling unsure. When she thought it was the right time, she quietly left, walking back inside, leaving Alex alone under the night sky. As she went inside, her mind was full of thoughts. In the morning, Lena went downtown. She needed some time to think, away from the confusing feelings she felt after Alex's visit. At first, she didn't want to invite Alex back. But as the year was ending, she found herself saying he should come over again. Mark was happy to hear it, and he thought it meant she had finally warmed up to his friend. Looks like you finally like him a little now. He didn't deserve you being so cold to him, he said, smiling. Lena laughed, and there was real warmth in her voice. She wanted Mark to know that things had changed. I'm over all that now, 
Don't worry, you'll see. This time it will be different. 